that's comedy. Welcome back. So our party in Persona 3 now includes a toaster, two teenagers with varying shades of grey hair, and Yukari. They call you slow! Oh yeah, I can't forget about the Fuka alarm clock. Sorry to wake you. So it turns out Fuka the Navigator found a shadow, and Akihiko is like, Sorry, but I think you guys better come. Little fella. Well, it's a doggo. Dog? Man. Guinea pig. And for being... Such a good boy. We adopt him. Also, Pharos is back. I'll come to see you again. Yeah, sure, okay. Giving up trying to stop you. And then it's summer vacation, which usually means a lot of swimming on the beach. Or talking to your party members like Yukari, who you were just given permission to talk to. Because the game's balance of social link is very unbalanced. But no, none of that. You gotta spend every day running. Yeah. And you do all this just for the game to make you run against another school's rival who is so impressed at how fast you are that he wants to start a social link with you. No, I don't think I will. Look, the game gives me nothing to do at night, so I gotta maximize the daytime with actual story characters. So I don't have time for you. N. P. C's. And eventually it's the full moon again. Well, it's a full moon once again. Gee, could you sound more enthusiastic? I mean, I expect that answer from me. Yeah, gee, no care in the world main character. So we find the boss shadow underground. Remember, we need to defeat 12 of these to end the dark hour forever. But as we enter, there's nothing here. However, well done. The bad guys finally enter, known as Strega, which was that Digimon looking dude who is literally holding a grenade and sounds like Simple. I've always been such a huge fan of Danganronpa. And Jesus? You've gained new allies, yet this land still crawls with sin. Oh yeah, that's totally him. They want to stop us from ending the Dark Hour because without it, they won't have their special Persona powers. Power? Are you crazy? And they are, trapping us inside. Well, nothing else to do since we got no Wi-Fi signal, but defeat the shadow further in. And this place, well, it's up there on the creepy scale for a Persona game. And it's a military type shadow where it changes forms, but I just set my toaster to assault mode to burn it to a crisp. And we tell Akutsuki that we won, but Strega trapped us inside. So please come pick us up. Hmm. What does he know? One in your own garden and three in the garden opposite yours. Ah, oh, great, now he's been watching too much better homes and gardens. Well, not happy with people mooching off the hotel's free rent status, they make the dog go into battle. Yes, it's a Persona user. This has to be a joke. Yes, it is. Wait, really? Oh, it's no joke. Oh, uh, well, yeah, he's quite strong. Gee, it makes me wonder if there are any other animals that use Personas. Like, how about a frog? Also, Fuka's voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> Those four are powerful. Why is this game's catchphrase power? Power. 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 All right, I get it! Yeah, due to being at the mid to late stage of the game, it was cool to see that with such a big team, when your main party dies, they return home. However, since you heal at the base, you could just use the bench to keep fighting that same night, as long as you want till you get tired. So we make it to the end of the tower block and begin bumbling around social links to the next full moon. But it seems like there's a new recording on the monitor. A reminder, this means that they are recording every single room in the hotel at all times. Hmm. Why are you such I a weirdo? Hmm. What it means to train your abs. I wonder if I should have gone for one piece. Well, with Koromaru, we finally unlock something else to do at night. You can walk the dog. He got the zoomies. He sometimes finds items for you and you can randomly get to walk with other characters. But I found that most of the time when I went to walk, he doesn't really feel like it. Damn it, how will I get my exercise? Also, does anyone else dislike this teacher? Because man, do they not stop talking. Well, now it's a summer festival, which is hilarious because you only get one person you can ask out, which is from your main party, that being Yukari. And the event is just go out, talk a bit, then immediately go home back to study. Such a school life, but hey, I won! A Jack Frost doll. Wow, exclusive merch! So yes, yeah, summer vacation continues with me trying to speedrun maxing out my knowledge from Mitsuru and also courage later for Fuka, because Atlas really said you had to be smart, charming, and courageous to talk to women. And it kind of sucks here because you can't even progress Yukari's social link. She's just unavailable outside of school, and you're forced to do random things as she just stands there burning the dog's food! Well, now we see Junpei complaining about how boring everything is, until he notices a goth girl. Get out of my way. 
Yes, he has a type. I can't move. She's just drawing, and Junpei realizes that's how all artists act and leaves. As we see Akihiko try to convince Shinjiro to rejoin the team. But due to some death he may have caused two years ago, he will never return. Not even a Persona dog user could convince him. However, Ken overhears this, and gee, I sure hope nothing bad happens from this action, changing the entire nature of the group's dynamic from now on. Mean. Well, we spy on our teammates. You know, the beef bowl place. Oh, hey, maybe we could meet up there. <laughs> Whoa! Well, maybe you are my type. What am I, the chairman? Transmogrifies. And speak of the goatee. I called this meeting so that I could introduce him, since he'll be joining Yeah, the, the kid is joining. Yeah. You're staying on the bed. As you can see, it was his own decision. You hear that, lawyers? I'm cleared of any wrongdoing. Well, I also decided to study on my vacation, because... Got nothing better to do in this town. Also, no one is playing that MMO anymore. And finally maxed out my smartness. However, yes, of course, what do you think? I can't talk to Mitsuru. Although she does try. It's memes. He still can't start his social link. So Junpei meets his ideal GF again and says, Wow, it's so cool that you can draw. I'm sure all artists in the world are always happy and have no emotional trauma, right? And Jinpei is really insistent on seeing her art, and harasses the poor girl who just wanted to draw the sunshine. However, he notices that her palm is bleeding and goes, Milady, I doth have the must to help you. You're weird. Chidori. Uh -huh. I'm almost done with the picture. I doubt you'll understand it. But if you want to see it, then you know where to find me. Yeah, Junpei has hooked the line and sinkered. Oh yeah, well Junpei is simping. I'm spending my hard-earned money to buy weapons and equipment from the police station. And it's annoying how you have to go into the dungeon to equip them on the party members. But then I learned, if you check a character's status, they will randomly go, Hey, you know that equipment you gave me? Nah, I picked a better one for myself. You can have it back. I get no respect as the leader, I tell ya. And I realized another mechanic, since the game thinks that all social links are always romantic, you know how I just calmly talked to Chihiro earlier, uh, she thinks I'm in love with her! And because I didn't talk to her for a few days, like I said, I'm focusing on the main cast, it reversed the social link! Meaning you have to spend a whole day talking to Chihiro to fix it! Gee, I sure hope she won't be mad when Igus joins the school. Wait, why is she joining? Oh, to learn how to be more like a human. Humanoid tactical weapon? What on earth? Well, Akihiko asks us to come and try to convince Shinjiro, as Akihiko says something important. Why not try putting whole lemons inside the rice balls? What the hell are you talking about? And that Ken has now joined the team. And this prompts Shinjiro to finally rejoin. I hope you're good. Adios, asshole. Oh, maybe I should try the club too. Well, finally I can progress Yukari's social link, where her mother interrupts and Yukari gets mad at how her mother just kept getting boyfriends after the dad died. And Jinpei has been busy. What do you do to make yourself feel alive? Uh, I don't know. Breathing, I guess. As he says how he's the hero and brags about. Powerful. And claims he's the leader of the group. Junpei, I ain't even mad. Do what you gotta do to riz it up. Dude, rocks. So on the next full moon, Junpei is about to enter the dorm when Chidori's voice stops him. As we gather to find the next shadow. It's, it's near, near Polonia Mall. Mall. I think. You think? Damn, Mitsuru is so mad Fuka replaced her as a navigator. So where's Junpei? Maybe we should look for him? No, it's okay. You're all young. Sometimes you just get in one of those moods. As we head to the mall and don't find any shadows, Fuka tries again. Hear the wind's answer in your ear. Touch the Hey, is she okay? However, we learn that it's under the area as we see Junpei all tied up. Man, I knew goths were kinky. Damn it, power. So it turns out she was part of Strega. I mean, we already knew that, but Stupe didn't. And he says, okay, since you're the leader, tell your group to not kill the shadow and stop this dark hour business. He's like, uh, yeah, about that. So we find the shadow underneath in the power cables, and it probably wasn't a good idea to bring two people who are weak to electricity. Congratulations. Well, Chidori is mad that Junpei ain't a leader, and Junpei goes, Wait a minute, you never liked me. So we arrive and interrupt their little session. Junpei stops her playing Persona Ooh. 3, and Akutsuki. Hmm? When did she? When did who? How do you know her? Hmm. Anyway. Only power. So Chidori is mad we took her persona away and keeps throwing tantrums. Give it back to me. I want her back. As Mitsuru tries to question her, but no luck. We hate you. 
She keeps on drawing and Junpei is really obsessing over her. Chidori on the other hand keeps cutting her hand, but she heals almost instantly with some super regenerating powers. Well, on the next day, because he was so insistent, I finished Kenji's social link. Where he goes, yeah, okay, maybe I didn't love her. I just love the idea of having a teacher GF. Bro, I'm so depressed. And what do I do? I steal his egg. You brought this on yourself, bub. And for completing his social link, he gives us a choker he made for the teacher. It would look good on me. Oh, you know, maybe it would. So it's the whole emo vibe we got going. Well, that's done. Back to Junpei's tragic love life. Yo, Chitterita. He buys her a new sketchbook as they slowly hit it off. Oh, However... Yeah. But Shinji is like, ah, oh, this is normal because they got their personas artificially. They lose control and the persona tries to kill them. Man, my hee-ho would never do that to me. And they need suppressants to keep them weak. Chidori goes, why are you so sad, Junpei? Death is like not waking up the next day. It's pretty normal. I don't want you to die, Chidori. You're so weird, Junpei. Akihiko chases after Shinjiro, mad that he takes suppressants too, saying how 10 years ago he couldn't save his sister in a fire and doesn't want the same to happen to Shinjiro. I'm sure it's... Fine. Hey, Ken, how you doing? Well, continuing Yukari's social link where she's getting mugged, but we save her by screaming at the top of our lungs. <coughs> totally embarrassing her. So Chidori shows Junpei that she can heal plants. A very neat party trick. And I continue by dungeon crawling, but Mitsuru is sick. So fine, Ken, here's your tryout. Here oh, yeah, you're off the team. And once again, we get a visitor in our room. Three seasons have passed since we met. Time goes by so quickly, and many things change. And I suddenly realize, the more we let this kid talk, the more I rank up his arcana. And what's his arcana? The death one! That's not a good sign. And after one more night arcade, I finally max out courage, so I could finally talk to Fuka! Except I can't find her anywhere! Man, these older game mechanics. Well, I think Yukari is interested in us, but this edgy boy. I don't know, I can never tell his true emotions. Well, another recording, this time showing that every single room in the hotel is being monitored, as we see Shinji watching. A cooking channel? Damn, much respect learning to cook. However, he doesn't want anyone else to know. He says that Shinjiro-san is not asleep. And now since I've done all my stat ranks in September, I had nothing else to do at night. No, seriously, there's like nothing else to do in this game. As the dog was tired, so then I got a job at the bar that didn't pay me because of some legal thing. But I got to start this social link with a priest. He's a great role model. Well, apparently we are meant to do the school festival, but a typhoon hits the land, so it's cancelled. Uh, okay then, just thanks for telling me. I'll say you may have noticed that I'm kind of rich right now. Well, it's because I finally worked out the shuffle time and managed to get all the money outcomes because this is the only way to earn actual money and the equipment is so expensive. Seriously, I don't know how you meant to properly farm this apart from praying at the shrine, save scumming to get good odds like more money in the dungeon or experience, which was then a great way to level up my entire team. I sense a great catastrophe in your future. Uh, that's great, gee, thanks. Wait a minute, why is time skipping? So, uh, apparently, you're never shown this, but you get, you caught a cold in the typhoon and slept for two full days, because the characters all go, no, are you feeling better, sweetie? Would have been nice to at least show it a little? Maybe an anime cutscene, huh? Anyway, I unlock Cross and Penta Persona Fusing. But you can't use any Persona you want, it's more like you have to find four or five needed to make a set one. Like the aforementioned Hee Ho. And I don't know how many people knew this, but uh... You remember that area where Junpei got beat up? Well, it's here. Yeah, just left of the station. I didn't know the entire game till now. Might as well feed this cat! Which is actually a quest line for Elizabeth, where you do odd jobs and eventually get... A scrubbing brush! Yes, it works in combat. What? Don't make me bring out the bus sign! I love joke weapons so much. And it turns out to actually start Fuka's social link, you gotta join the art club. Ah, oh, so everyone saw Chidori be an artist and suddenly they are all inspired now. So I finally can start a social link! And what is it about? Cooking. She's a bad cook. What is it with nervous people and being bad with food? And meanwhile, Yukari is saying, Hey BF, let's go on a hike! And I'm like, wait, are we, are we dating now? Well, maybe she'll like this Jack Frost doll. And now it's time for another room watching time, and this time it's 
My room. Maybe they'll catch that gremlin breaking in. Door unlocked in 92 seconds. My time has improved. How many people enter my room? Man, imagine you woke up in the middle of the night and you see those robotic eyes staring back at you. Well, how about the next recording? So, like, are we gonna do something about the fact that they are recording everyone or just keep watching the video? This one piece is beloved by all, including friends, boyfriends, and boyfriends' friends. So I gotta fix the relationship with Chihiro again, because she really freaks out anytime I talk to anyone else apart from her. I mean, come on, this was just trying to help with Buka's cooking, because she can't even cook rice. Well, Yukari says her mum won't remarry till she approves. See, just sitting and listening gets you far in a relationship. And I talk more to the priest, who tells me to shave my head bald because to be more like him. Wow, you're right. This really suits me. I look so... British. And finally, it's the next full moon. Only a few left. But let's worry about them one at a time. Assuming they come one at a time. <laughs> Just kidding. With it now being two shadows, where one hides the other, who then spins a roulette. And you have to press X for it to land on blue to hurt the enemy, but it affects you landing on red. And yes, my luck sucks. No. Well, Akiko realizes today is the 4th of October, and runs off. As we return back to the hotel, and Mitsuru is like, Oh crap, I forgot! The 4th is a two-year anniversary of Ken's mother being killed. As we see him in the alleyway about to kill Shinji, because it turns out, Shinji had lost control of his persona back then, and accidentally killed a civilian being Ken's mother. Which is why he quit the team, and tried to suppress his persona powers. With now Ken realizing it's him, wanting to exact revenge. That's why I decided that I had to find her killer. You! Bro, chill, you're like five years old. It also begs the question as to why Mitsuru and Nikutsuki approve Ken joining the team when they know that their groups ought to kill his mother. It's kind of sick in a way. No way. Power. Are you shitting? Also, wait, they were in this alleyway the whole time, right? How did Fuka not find them? I bet Mitsuru is real happy knowing that she's, you know, slipping up. What are you trying to say? So Shinji's like, yeah, okay, kill me to make you happy. But remember, doing this will turn you into me. Someone who will always regret killing another human. But ta-da, it's Gun, Gun Jesus, Jesus! Who appears like, if you both want to die, I can help speed it up. And this makes Ken mad he didn't get to exact his revenge. So Gun Boy shoots Shinji in the... Shin, and then asks who their navigator on the team is. Ken says it's him, and Gunboy goes to shoot Ken, but Shinji takes the bullet and dies. Come on, Ken, you're just a kid. And the gun guy runs off as we find the body. Where well, the next day at school, they hold a funeral service. Wait, he was a student? I thought he was like 25 years old or something. And this death shakes up the group. Mostly Akihiko, who wasn't strong enough to save another person he cared about. And Ken, just being a kid. So Akihiko goes to him and says, Oi! Man up! And Ken talks to himself. Made up my mind. And says, yeah, okay, I'll help you stop the dark hour. With only one day of feeling sad. Gee, people in this game move on quickly from death, huh? Jeez. Oh yeah, and this death both made Akihiko and Ken's persona evolve. Do you realize you're still going on the bench, okay? You seem tired. Yeah, you keep waking me up in the middle of every night. Also, I had the weirdest glitch where after grinding so much in the dungeons for money, I managed to buy Igus a new gun because she wanted to feel more American. But the Medusa gun, uh, hello? Where is it? Is it a glitch? Well, anyway, I felt bad that she didn't get her present, so bought her that Moo Moo dress. Although, I don't know why I had to spend 300k at the police station for it to, you know, when she already has the dress. And also why... Why do you have our swimsuits? I'm only doing what I think is right. Also, I learned that you can get basic weapon types and then fuse with a persona to make a strong weapon. I would show you gameplay of said weapon, but it takes one day to make. Uh, better remember to pick that up later. However, I also learned that only on Sundays at the shrine, where our mafia boss used to be, you can find Akinari, who is a dying man that wants someone to talk to. <gasps> Bro, dying don't mean you gotta have no manners! And now it's exam time, where FINALLY I could use all the knowledge I got, receiving all those free answers from the voice of my headset to ace the test, and FINALLY win over Mitsuru! And what do you know? I took the entire grade and got first place! And I still can't talk to her till November. Boy, the social links in this game are very fair and well balanced, huh? Well, now Fuka's bestie, the bully that loves saying her name, mean. is leaving the school. And this makes Fuka sad. But then she's happy, as she learns that she feels happy making others happy. So her persona evolves. Will this let you actually scan Straga now, or is Mitsuru still going to be mad? 
I guess we'll see. You'll get used to his lame jokes. Power. Okay. Hey, with Yukari social leg, she actually gets jealous when we talk to Fuka. Can I seriously not talk to two people at the same time without someone else getting mad? Well, back to spying on teammates since there's nothing else to do. Also, the internet's pretty bad in 2009. I mean, you know. What's up, Yukatan? Hey. Does that mean you gotta call me master? Hey, wait a minute. Happy to provide you with some of my special services. Oh no, not again! And we finally ranked 10 with Yukari, with the most awkward hug ever. I feel like these social links are pretty basic compared to what they do in the future games. Oh yeah, Junpei, by the way, is visiting Chidori every day in the hospital, in case you shippers were wondering. And Yukari for a rank 10 present gives us a strap. Oh, a cell phone strap a dad gave her. Uh, silly me. Yeah, of course, 2009 had cell phone straps. Well, it's November, meaning time to defeat the 12th final shadow, which will end the dark hour and our persona usage. Feels so weird that the game is just suddenly ending. So Fuka finds a shadow on the Moonlight Bridge. Hmm. But on the bridge, we must first stop Straga, who's trying to stop us from ending the green time zone. Gun Jesus asked us a strange question if we have watched the first Trek movie. Who cares? This makes him mad since it was his favorite movie, and we fight. With Digimon Bro literally throwing grenades, but it's fairly easy. And Digimon goes, well, if you end the dark hour, do you know what happens to us? That's enough. And Gun Jesus, uh... Hey, I don't think that's how Personas work, mate. But Digimon stops him and drags him over the ledge. <laughs> well, uh, okay. Time to fight the final shadow some fun mechanics where you gotta destroy these angels to make him crash land to deal damage but he also summons minions and it really made me try and land a lot of multi-hit attacks but since my allies don't listen to me i sort of became the stat buff and debuff guy on the team and we win what will be our victory cheer one two three can we go home now? So yeah, the music's still being eerie. Uh, sure, let's celebrate! And make Matsuru foot the bill by eating some expensive food! Daddy tuna! I guess Pharos is also leaving now. First time we speak to him in the day. I shall treasure our conversations always. What conversations? You did all the talking! And we get the food delivered. Wait, is there like no fancy restaurants in the town? Damn, okay, flying it out from Tokyo due to how rich you are. And her rich dad also comes in to celebrate with us, finally stopping the dark hour, and says seas will disband at midnight. Oh, hey, by the way, where is Akutsuki? What's that? He's tuning up Igus? Uh, a bit strange to do that on the night we win, but okay. And we take the goofiest anime photo I've ever seen. It's so hilarious. And as it hits midnight... I thought we ended the dark hour. What the heck? It's still the dark hour. As we hear the school bell and all rush to the tower to find Yakutsuki and I guess under his mind control. Ah, oh, come on. You can't just install Linux on an Android machine. It won't even work right. And Yakutsuki, you were evil? Man, for a guy who spies on people in his hotel. Wow. I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. And he says one word. Transmogrify. Which roughly translates to him wanting us to destroy the shadows, which actually frees the Twelve to rejoin together and bring about the fall, which I believe is the end of the world. As humans ruined everything, it is said that a prince will reset the world and then rule over it. And he wants to be that guy. He also says that the Kirija group tried this 10 years ago, but this accidentally led to the Dark Hour and Tata source being formed. And since we try to stop him, he orders Igus to capture us to be sacrificed, which means... Oh, what the bloody heck? I just realized. I forgot to pick up that strong weapon. No, now they'll cancel my deposit. Trojan, Ramses, Magnum, Sheik. And a big cheesy thank you to my patrons, including Commitimus Crime, Cox or Sin, John Porter Gill, Master Pro, Nira, and Worker B. 